Now, next week sees the release of the long-awaited shooter video game sequel, Bioshock 2. The first version, released just over two years ago, sold around 3 million copies and was praised for its artistic direction. But it was also accused of dumbing down gameplay and being more interested in style. Let's find out more. Our technology reporter, Daniel Emery, joins me now on E24. Daniel, for those who haven't played the first game, what was it all about? Well, this was a game in an unusual setting, whereas most shooters tend to either be sort of science fiction in the future or World War II. This was set in a dystopian underwater environment in a whole 1930s setting. So if you can think of it like Gotham City, but underwater. The idea was this sort of very rich millionaire decided he wanted to build a utopia away from society and did. Um, but then everyone got corrupted. There was a, a drug called Adam that allowed you to, to change your body, um, and everyone started becoming mutated, and it got quite weird. The game itself, you know, as, as we said in the introduction there, was artistically very, very brilliant. Um, but there was a lot of criticism because certain elements of the game were, were simplified. Um, this is what The Escapist, an online satirical review site, had to say about it. Basically, trip over ammo, money and med kits everywhere you go. The life restoration chambers are back, but now there's no cost to use them and there's one every ten feet. So dying becomes more of a momentary annoyance. And once you realise that there's no reason to be careful, nothing really poses a threat anymore and the game ceases to be scary or difficult in the slightest. Which is not to say that it's bad, it's just shallower than was advertised. OK, so tell me about this new game, Bioshock 2, the sequel, and is it going to address those concerns? Well, the game itself is a follow-on, and, and the difficulty with all follow-ons is if you make it too different, you'll alienate the core users. If you make it too similar, then everyone just accuses you of reinventing the wheel. What they've done is they've kept the same sort of environment and atmospheric, so again, it's the underwater city, it's the 1930s environment, but it's set ten years in the future, so now it's it looks gone... looks very futuristic. Very much so. It's gone from being sort of quite dystopian to being complete anarchy now. There are kind of mutants roaming around the city um, and these robots which is what you play which is called um, a big daddy you are a cybernetic organism with this little sister who is a small child who's been corrupted by this drug Adam sitting on your shoulder now as you heard they said that the whole problem with the previous game was you could just attack someone die respawn do it over and over again and wear it down we spoke to the creative director Jordan Thomas and he said actually you know what in this version it's going to be different we have addressed the problem where you are restored to life and the game's most powerful enemies, the big daddies, were uh, still wounded, allowing you to just rush up to them and, you know, smack them with a wrench a few times before they sort of tiredly knock you over again, only to do the whole thing over again until they finally fall. Um, now their little sisters, the, the charges that they protect, will uh, sort of inject them with this, this substance and heal them. So if you want to defeat any of the most powerful enemies in the game, you really have to invest in it. You have to complete that challenge. But still, we don't take story progress away from you. Okay, so that's what he has to say about it. Dana, you've played it. What do you really make of it? Well, I played an early version. Obviously, the game's coming out next week, and so until we actually get the, the one that's in the shops, you know, we can't say for definitive. It's scary, I think, is the first thing to say. Not many games frighten you. This game is genuinely frightening. You can run through a corridor and suddenly all the lights go out, the windows start flooding, you start drowning, and you're being attacked by this um, mechanised robot that's trying to sort of do you in. Um, I think it will be very, very popular. I think it should sell quite well. We'll wait until the final version comes out before we give it a definitive score. Daniel, thanks for joining us. Daniel Emery there, our technology reporter. Well, that's all the entertainment news for now. I'll be back next week.